What's up, Primax? Coming at y'all with another reaction video. Today we got another Jubilee video. Like I said, these are like probably the, one of the most interesting and fun videos to watch, at least for me. Now, I guess y'all tend to like watching it too with me. So yeah, so this is about do all fe feminists think the same? Now let me premise this video by saying I love everyone and whatever your ideals are, like that's up to you. So yeah, let me just premise it by that. But uh, yeah, do all feminists think the same? I mean, if you label yourself, I don't know, let's just get in the video. So for you, it is the ability to create life and that's basically what makes you a woman. Femininity and womanhood is so much more than just, you know, getting dressed up and putting on makeup and just the way I feel. It's, it's who I am on a biological level. We yeah. here. Men can be feminist. Three, two. <coughs> yes, men can be feminist. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a feminist, but I would say that I love women and they should have rights and they should have all the rights they, they need or want or but most importantly, I love women, so. Uh, but you guys can be annoying, not gonna lie. I mean, I'm wearing a hoodie that says men can be feminist too. I feel like I have to be over here. I think most men that are feminists are like usually either lazy, virtue signaling, just want to see tips or access to easy sex. I think it depends. What? <laughs> Dang. Bro, how she, so, you label yourself part of a group, and then you gonna hate on the people that, well, because I know a lot of feminists, I feel like they don't really like men, because they think men just think, oh, they're so much better than us, or something, and then you got a man here that supports y'all, and you, you want to flame him, and be like, like, oh, he, they lazy, or they want easy, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I mean, I guess she could maybe say like, man could like act like they're feminists. I guess that's what she, she probably thinks man cannot be feminist. Well, she's a somewhat agree. Mm, I don't know, man. <laughs> on your definition of feminism, like modern day feminism, I would say yes. Hey, Grace. Hey, you see this video? Like, hit my emails like traditional feminism like advocating for you know traditional femininity and non-discrimination in the workplace like i think those things men can agree with i see what you're saying when you're like there's this performative feminism that a lot of guys do so if a male feminist is like oh i only support like women and it's just only about that but he's not even talking about how like feminism needs to support men or like trans people or whatever then there is a performative to it. White feminist voices are too loud. Three, two, one. I somewhat agree like that white feminist voices are too loud, but then I think that they become really good at using black women or black faces when they want to, you know, push their movement further. I, mean, I, I agree that it's probably... But like... So is he trying to say, what is she trying to say there? Like, is she trying to say that they just using black people or, I mean, if somebody using me, like, and I want to be in that spot, I feel like that doesn't, that benefits me at the end of the day. Like, it's not like they forced the, the women to say something, you know what I'm saying? That woman probably wanted to be in that limelight and say stuff. Now, if you could look at it like that, I guess, but I don't know. Probably not balanced, and I think it probably needs to be more equal. I guess the reason why I- Hey, Grace, man. Hey, Grace pulled up, she pulled up fine, man. She put up, she put up. Grace said, I'm, I'm a, uh, I'm an avatar myself. I'm at somewhat disagree. 
is just because I'm hesitant to say that anyone speaking up for their views is too loud. I think that's fine and I can dance with I like Grace too, bro. She got she seems like she a cool person, you know what I'm saying? Like she seems like she very cool to talk to. I see what you're saying. I just hate like when some of these movements use black women when it's convenient for them. There's not discussion about them. So when is when is it convenient? when is it like so if you give if they give us the platform so then why would they just get why would they give us a platform if it's just if they just gonna be like oh um this is not convenient this is it seems like this is too convenient of a time so we're not gonna do it so like what so what what's the like what how do you how do you get more I don't know man I don't know man Latinas immigrant how they're get treated on the feminist movement you know it's always about either the pro choice pro choice side also who what is like a top feminist person let me look it up let me look it up I know or, or something else that it's more interesting to white when you think of feminism you usually think of a white lady um, and I think that's still perpetuated even though there'd be like a lot of black women behind the scenes doing a lot of the heavy lifting and often are in a lot of civil rights movements white women have certain rights they need through feminism as other t people but they're just always taken more seriously by everyone i'll read off a list of public figures and you'll go to your left if you believe the person to be a feminist or the right and you don't think they're a feminist kim kardashian I wouldn't say that she isn't a feminist. I, I I don't think that's her number one thing. She went from doing her show and the whole like, sex scandal thing to like, you know, now she's working in law and civil rights and she's done the whole family thing. So what's what is femin like? So has Kim Kardashian came out and said she's a feminist, or are they trying to say like how she lives her life is like a feminist? I don't get it. Ultimately, I think that Kim Kardashian is a woman that has, like, done what she's wanted to do. Oh, okay. Amy Coney Barrett. I've heard this name. I think I've heard it on Rogan a couple of times. Amy Coney Barrett, in my opinion, is, like, the epitome of a feminist. She's literally, <laughs> like, a Supreme Court justice in, like, the highest court of the land. And she totally disproves the narrative that women have to choose between having a career and a family. I, I don't really agree with her a lot. On hey, Grace. Like I said, <clears throat> my emails, they open. Hit me in the emails. We could talk, you know, feminism and all that. You could you could teach me, like, because I don't really know a lot about it, bro. Like, you could teach me. Like, I want to learn. Political stances, but I think more so as just being a role model for women to be on a level of the Supreme Court where it's primarily dominated by men. J.K. Rowling. Three years ago, I would have said yes, and there's still a lot of reasons I would. She was a single mom, she wrote all of the books, she became a billionaire. The reason I would say kind of no now is her just kind of weird anti trans zealotry she's gotten involved in that kind of undercuts a lot of her other feminist stuff. I mean, I disagree that just for the fact that she expresses her own opinions and now people like literally crucify her and, and really want to like put her under and undermine everything she has done, you know? It's just she has such a big platform that when you're talking like this very extreme stuff about a marginalized group, that's really the issue. Why should women like with a platform be forced to align with a mainstream narrative of what it means to be a woman and a feminist? Like, why can't her own personal journey be enough? It's it, it really comes down to not that it's an opinion. It's that she's spreading a lot of dangerous misinformation. But based on what, though? Because you don't agree with it? Ooh. No, it's scientific. Ooh. Well, it getting kind of heated right here, boy. I ain't saying nothing. Because this is this is slippery slope right here. But I'm not going to let them argue it out. See what happens. Facts that she's just talking about stuff that's incorrect. 
and her ideas about trans men have affected legislation that harms trans men getting the resources they need. For women. Three, two, one, go. I think we're all just positioned here based on our political uh, beliefs and as for how we see um, the LGBTQ. I mean, I think it's also split between... I love how they just... It's literally just far left and far right. <laughs> um, I mean, bro, like... <coughs> biologically, a trans woman is not a woman. Biologically. Now... If they want to change into a woman and believe they're a woman, then yeah, they can do it. But biologically, they are not. Biologically, they were a man. So. I mean, all the men are on this that side, and all the women are on this side. I know, being a woman, that there are certain things that we have to deal with as women that people who are not, you know, biologically women don't have to deal with. Yeah, like, I'm a man. Now, say I want to be trans. Like, at the end of the day, I'm never going to have no period. I was going to say this, but I'm not going to say it. But y'all know. Uh, I, only, I ain't never going to have no no yitty milk come out. At the end of the day, man, a man is different than a woman. Like, biologically, it is. It's facts. Science. Y'all always say believe in science, but when you put some science in you, in your face, you don't you don't want to agree with it. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to say you're a woman, you're a woman. Then. I ain't saying you're not. I'm just saying biologically, uh, trans women are not women. I mean, we have to like deal with having our periods and go through that really awkward stage when we're 13, and people who are you know, trans women don't have to go through that. Trans women live their entire lives as women. They don't turn it off. It's not something that they're turning off. And then to come up to them and say, oh, yeah, I see you're doing this, but you're not a woman. You know, it's kind of how, how do you live your life as a woman? Because every single time somebody says... Okay, so here is kind of the crazy thing, though. There are people that, like, say for... There are some people that like they grow up and they just kind of act like the other gender. You know what I'm saying? Like they grow up and like maybe you have like a cousin or something. Like he kind of he kind of act like he kind of acts like a girl. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know if, if that's just like mentally or that's just uh not. I don't know, but it, it does happen. And there are some girls or men that they just literally act like the other like gender you know what I'm saying Is that, it's, they, they but biologically at the end of the day no matter how they act and all that a woman is a woman and a man is a man they name the most stereotypical things it's like putting on a dress except for the uh I forgot what those people call where they kind of, where they have like both or something or I don't know like that's different I don't know I forgot what it's called but if you're not one of them then yeah biologically you're a man or biologically you're a woman putting on makeup it's biological I was it's born all a woman I can't I can't be a man. So I can't be a man no matter how much I try. I can't be. And it's just, you know, chromosomes and that's it. Are the differences just chromosomes, just having children? That's like so hurtful and discriminatory against women because femininity and womanhood is so much more than just, you know, getting dressed up and putting on makeup and just the way I feel. It's, it's who I am on a biological level. Right, so for you, it is the ability to create life and that's basically what makes you a woman. What makes you a man? Or would you consider yourself <laughs> a man? I probably should. Bro, I can just tell, like, she petty, bro. Like, <laughs> how she be talking. But, hey, Grace. Like I said. 
My email is open, Shadi. Yeah, I, I'm a, I, I was born a man. I behave as a man. I carry so myself in society as a man. So what would I have to do to be a man, a man like you? So, I want to be a so, man now. So we, we can both agree that our society has things that men generally do, things that women generally do, right? If you start to fall on one side of the spectrum versus the other side of the spectrum, then you're going to be treated as that gender. I think it's a little obscure that we're looking at it as such a basic requirement, more so that, I mean, humans are much more evolved than any other animal, so why are we still using just the requirement of, well, that person has a penis, he's a male, or that person has a vagina, they're a female. I think you're a whoa, whoa, whoa. or a feminine man. That doesn't make you that gender. And to try to, like, deny... I know that. I know whoever that is is salty. I don't know. I forgot the name. Um, I don't know the pronouns, but I know salty. Like just basic biological facts. We all learn this in high school. Like, let's stop acting like it's something new and different now because it's like the hip thing to say. I think there's like a lot of conflating of being female versus being a woman. Being female is horizontal. Oh, Leon. So, is Leon. Is Leon, is he just gay or? I don't know Leon pronouns, but. That's what you're born as. Uh, Being a woman is a societal construct. They can align. Like, yours obviously all align. Um, like you point over here, you're like, all the men over here. The first 30 years of my life, I was a woman. I transitioned. It's a disconnect with. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Alright, so. First 30 years, he was a a man, and he transitioned. Okay, so Leon transitioned from a man to a woman. Okay, so he, Leon believes that... What you're born as and what you feel you should So be. gender dysphoria? Yes. Okay. I can believe that. I 100% can believe that. Yeah. If it would. Well, yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's some people that, like, they they just, like, act like, like, it's some girls that they just act like dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if Leon feel like uh, she want to be a, a man, then, I mean, that's up to her. But biologically... <laughs> it was just like I just wanted to be a masculine woman then sure that's easy to do but that didn't work I'm not going to say I'm male I wasn't born with XY that'll never change and no trans person will ever tell you they're biologically born that way because if anyone knows anything about biology it's trans people that's why they have to get hormones and do all this other stuff and it doesn't take away your womanhood if someone else is a different type of woman. It's a different experience that shouldn't make you feel less of a woman if they're around or vice versa. Okay, I, I rock with Leon. Like, he, she, she, like, said, like, she didn't come off as, like, oh, like, you wrong, you wrong. She, he, she just explained herself. I rock with Leon. Do you all feel like the feminist movement should be fighting for trans women um, within that movement. I mean, they should be fighting for everyone's genders, whether they're trans women, trans men, cis women, cis men, or non-binary people. That's just part of feminism. I don't think so. I think it defeats the entire movement. Every feminist should be pro-choice. Three, two, one, go. Every feminist should be. Well, I'm so confused. I consider myself to be a pro life feminist, and I think that. Man. Wait, I hope Grace is over the age of 18. But as long as she's 18, like, hey, Grace, hit me up. The idea that um, we can tell women that they can't identify as feminists unless they say that they're pro-choice goes totally against everything that feminism stands for 
I agree with that. I think there's actually something that's beautiful about womanhood and women in general and something that kind of shows ways that modern feminism has kind of been a little exclusionary because women come from all different backgrounds and thought processes and I think we should support the freedom of choice, the freedom of speech, regardless of the lifestyle that that woman wants to choose. If you personally feel you're pro-life, that's fine. Feminism as a movement should be pro-choice to allow anyone to choose whatever path they want to have, whether they want to have children or not have children or have abortions or whatever. But if feminism is pro- I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, <clears throat> I'm not really trying to get into my beliefs, but let me just say women can have their own choice what they want to do. Um, but I do think, like, if the baby is, like, actually, like, an embryo and you kill it, like, <clears throat> like, it's, like, an actual, like, in your, like, like, whatever the late term, I think that's wrong, but, as long, like, if you, say you just get pregnant or something and it's, like, very early and you choose and I have a baby I think women you know they can have that choice a life then you block one group of people from choosing whether they want to have abortions or their own family planning one of the pushbacks that I would just love to give is I believe that abortion is wildly discriminatory against women and against people with disabilities baby girls are aborted at a higher rate which is so sexist, and so I truly don't think that you can be a feminist. Dang, that's that's for real. Dang, that's tough. I ain't gonna lie though. Like, I'd rather have a son. I ain't gonna lie. I'd rather have a son. That ain't saying I would just abort, abort a female just because it was a female. But like, I'm just saying like. I would rather have a son, so I could never mind. <laughs> Who is pro choice because these are discriminatory practices. So I am pro choice. Um, I feel like somebody should have whatever type of choice. That but I love women. I love you guys. Especially Grace. They want to make, they should have an equal say as far as, hey, this is my body. I want to be able to have an abortion. Or just as equally, I want to say, I'm going to have this baby. So, um, and I do believe it's 100% up to the woman. A feminist should probably be more aligned with giving someone their own choice. Menstrual products should be free. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, I think it should be free. I ain't gonna lie though, like, like women, y'all, like, y'all be so difficult, bro, like, Y'all be leaving things on red, like, y'all be playing with us, but I ain't gonna lie, y'all gotta deal with a lot. Like, y'all gotta have babies eventually. Like, if y'all do get pregnant, you don't wanna have a baby, you gotta get an abortion. You gotta have a period, like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all do deal with a lot. I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. I know if I was a girl, I would want that stuff to be free. Especially because don't y'all be having that stuff like every two weeks or something? Like, I don't know. Go. Just being able to provide, um, for example, on the low income school, you know, there's a lot of girls that cannot afford them. You know, and there's a shame to ask for it. I mean, I, I personally believe that anything that you didn't, I guess, ask for, like menstrual cycles or even, I mean, if you get into healthcare, I think that's, that should all be added on. I believe that everyone should be compensated for their labor, and I believe that creating and producing menstrual products, it's a service, and that people should get paid. Well, nobody's saying that they won't get paid, because, like you said, you were born a woman, you didn't ask to have periods, so now you have to go out and pay taxes on, you know, you have to pay more taxes than exactly. I do, because I don't have to buy don't have to tampons, pay tampons or yeah. whatever. Yeah, that is, that's what I'm saying, I feel like... I wouldn't care if y'all got y'all stuff free because I don't got to deal with that stuff.
Yeah. Is this like a pandemic of women like bleeding through their clothes or something? Because I work with low income families. This is never an issue I've ever heard other than on social media. Now, are there instances or may there be segments in people's lives where they need like like things or they need help or they need the community to get behind them? Absolutely. But I don't think it's this huge crisis that everybody is making it out to be. I just have not seen it. Every woman should be a feminist. Three, two, one, go. Once again, I feel like that kind of goes against everything that feminism stands for by saying that a woman has to think a certain way. Every woman should be a feminist instead of every woman has to be a feminist. That's kind of why I went to the strongly agree. Yes, you should be a feminist if you're a woman because you should want equal rights. Going back, I think people have really misinterpreted the, the word feminism, you know, but most women should be feminist, but they are. I think to me. She cool too. This was a pretty good group. I like this group. It was definitely like, they didn't have no like crazy nut jobs, but I like this they group. Are. I don't know any woman that it's not feminist. <coughs> They don't call themselves it because of the extreme feminism. Like, for example, I like to serve my husband. You know, that's something I like. That doesn't make me not a feminist. That's who I am. He likes to do other things, like change my tires. I will never do that. That doesn't mean I'm not a feminist, you know? And that is officially a wrap, you guys. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Very interesting video. I'm not really, I'm very uneducated about this whole topic, to be honest. I just kind of giving my two cents on what I've like kind of heard and some of my experiences being around women and, um, but yeah, this was a good group. Like, that's how it is. Like, at the end of the day, everybody not going to believe the same thing you believe, but all, cause we're all different, but yeah. As long as you just respect people and don't be obnoxious about it, like, that's all you can do. Yeah, let me know in the comment. Oh, oh, almost forgot. Grace, if you're above the age of 18, hit my emails, like, for real. Like, you was beautiful. Elegant woman. But yeah, that's it for this video. And I'm out of primates.